All right. So um, it is January 1st, 2020. Um, and I have decided to create a YouTube channel or a floss tube channel um, where I will talk about the cross stitch that I'm working on, um, things that are happening throughout my life and things that I'd like to talk about, um, different things like that. Um, so I guess I'll start and I made, I made notes because I'm nervous. Don't want to go off script. Um, introduce myself. Um, my name is Anna and I am 29 years old. I'm almost 30. I'll be 30 in June, but 30 is the new 20 now. So I think, I think I'll be good. Um, I am newly engaged to the love of my life, Pablo. Um, he is playing video games in the other room. I told him to put headphones on, close his door, and I've closed my door so that he cannot hear me at all because I just get kind of about other people hearing me record myself. Um, and we got engaged on Christmas, newly, newly engaged. And we're going to do a courthouse wedding kind of thing, invite very close family members, um, and then go out and have like a nice dinner after that. And then um, have a big party with friends um, and, you know, kind of do it that way instead of spending a lot of money for one day, one party, just not really my thing. Um, and glad that he's on the same page. Um, I am a high school teacher. Um, I teach Spanish to juniors and seniors mostly, and it is ooh, probably my last semester doing that. Um, I, I just, it's really not for me. It's a statistic that like 80 something percent or maybe it's too high, but there's a statistic and I'm, I'm, I'll find it. Excuse me. I just had some pizza. <laughs> Great start. Um, uh, that teachers quit between before their fifth year and it's my fourth year. Ugh. I'm just kind of over it. And, um, so I, I have an online Etsy store, Tankard Crafts, where I sell um, grime guards for cross stitching, and I sell um, pint glasses and wine glasses with um, serial killer faces on them. Um, so that's going really, really well. I made a decent amount of money this past year, and that was with me kind of like halfway doing it for the first half of the year. Um, so I think I'm going to, after this semester, um, focus on that a lot. Um, also, we're going to get married, which means we're going to have kids very excited about that. So um, by the end of the year, I'll probably be pregnant with a child inside of me. So that'll be um, a lot of updates with that too. Um, I'm going to definitely use this as like a, a video blog for me as well. Um, I think it's good to have like a video diary. <laughs> um, so yeah, I want to have um, the, the ultimate goal is for me to end up having a fabric store. I absolutely love fabric. Um, I realized that this year that I absolutely love fabric and I feel like owning a fabric store, an online one, and then a brick and mortar one would be um, not easy, but it would be um, achievable, attainable. Um, and I think I can drive myself to do that. I have a lot of ambition. So I guess a history of my cross stitching started cross stitching back in 2015 was living alone, me and my kitties, and I just felt like I needed something to do with my hands while I watched movies and TV and listened to audiobooks and podcasts and things like that. So I started, I got some thread, I got some fabric, and I started stitching a Ravenclaw, because I'm a Ravenclaw, um, Ravenclaw um, banner or something like that. Never finished it, the story of my life. Sorry, something, never finished it. I think I've finished one cross-stitching thing since I've started, but it's okay. Um, I know that my, my grandmother, she cross-stitched and did embroidery. My mom did some cross-stitch too. So it kind of like runs in the family a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm working on some stuff. So I'm going to show you guys the whips for 2020. Um, already working on some. And so I love to make bags now, I've realized. So I made literally made this one today. I've had this fabric for a while. Um, it's by Alexander Henry. It's called Tricky Crow. They have it in um, purple and gray, but I love orange. Orange is my favorite color. Oh, I gotta get used to the angles. Um, so in this one, I have my um, Universal Monsters Stitch Along. This is by the Witchy Stitcher. Um, I just finished up The Bride of Frankenstein. I'm working on Dracula. And yes, I know that my needle minder by Flying Frog Stitchery, it's hard to say that, is upside down because I am stitching Dracula upside down because he's a bat. 
and they hang upside down. And I got the idea from somebody off of Instagram. I can't think of it right now, but I'll definitely tag them once I figure it out. Um, so that's why he's upside down, but he's not actually, he's right side up for a Dracula. So that's great. Um, the Scrime Guard is available in the shop. This is the 8x8. You can get 11 by 11 as well. 8x8 is $10 and 11 by 11 is 13 and I'm currently running a sale, 10% off. So if you want to grab one, go grab one. Um, I just got this fabric the other day at Joann's. It's covered in cat hair. Sorry. I have two lovely kitties that like to shed. Yeah, you can see it right there. So it's an avocado. Get it? And it's on toast because there's avocado toast. Um, so in this one, and I actually have an avocado right here, stuffed avocado. It's great. It's a good back. Um, I can pill a pillow for your back. Um, so this is the Ingleside Imaginarium um, stitch along for this year. It's the Familiars, and it was I'm not made a lot of progress on it yet, but it, um, the first one was released today. So I'm going to start working on that. I got to work my way up. Um, this needle minder right here is from uh, A Needle Runs Through It. This Gram Guard is by yours truly. And I hand dyed this fabric using Rit Dye. And I was super pleased with how it came out. So that is that one that I'm working on. And I love to have bags for all my projects. So the next bag. Um, it's a Halloween bag. I love this fabric. It glows in the dark. The white parts glow in the dark. Um, and this one has my chopping mall stitch along and again by witchy stitcher another needle minder by flying frog stitchery um, i made a few changes to this one i made the um sign difference as masked by michael and then i made my own joker mask because i absolutely adored the movie joker and i've always loved batman and stuff like that um looking forward to the next room which comes out i guess was today wednesday um Friday. All right. And I've caught up on that, which is crazy. I've never caught up with my stitch along. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, and then I have another stitch along. The bag is not made yet because I do not have the fabric yet. I ordered it on Monday and I think they've been closed for the holidays, but I should get it soon. It's got some dragons and it's got some castles on it because it's fairy tale themed. It is the Clouds Factory um, stitch along Grimm's Fairy Tales. It's going to be freaking awesome. Um, I went to Barnes & Noble and actually bought the book of Grimm's Fairy Tales to read as they come out. So um, that should be really fun. And I love Cloud's Factory. I've been stitching a lot of her stuff for, oh, for a while. Um, speaking of Barnes & Noble and books, I do want to talk about some books that I have recently listened to. Um, I mostly do audiobooks. Um, I just listened to a book called Dead Mountain. And I, I would give it a four stars out of five. The story was pretty good detailed. It's about the Dyatlov Pass incident in Russia, where nine hikers mysteriously died in the cold Siberian Russian winter. And um, it was, like I said, an audiobook. And it was unfortunately narrated by the author himself. And he's a good author, not a good narrator. Um, but that story was good enough for me to power through. I think it was like six hours seven hours. I didn't listen to it all at once, obviously, but whew, it was a bit rough in some points. Very monotone. Um, and then I just started and I'm about to finish because it's so freaking good. Um, it's called Call Me God. It's an audible original and it's basically like a podcast, but it's a book or something. It's about the DC sniper, which happened in 2002. And I did not know anything about it until this book. And it was freaking great. Um, I've got like two hours left, but it, I mean, I listened to six hours of it yesterday, pretty much. Like it was just, it's just enthralling and I love true crime stuff like that. So that's definitely always going to grab hold of my interest. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else? Mm, oh yeah. I've got some new, uh, Grime Guards I'm going to put up in the shop soon. New Year's, new stuff. Um, I'm going to start doing themed, I guess. Um, this is going to be some animal themed Grime guards and some food themed grime guards. They've so got some narwhals right here. Um, we've got some otters. Cute little otters. And these are all 8x8s. Eight eight, and I make the 8x8 eight eight first. And then if somebody orders an 11x11, 11 11, I do that because the 8x8 eight eight takes less time and less fabric. So, um, And then I got this really cute one. Kitty's reading books. And then dinosaurs that are tacos. And there's avocados and hot sauce. Love avocados, clearly. 
And then I don't really like sushi, but um, the sushi fabric is pretty cute. So yeah, these will be available in the store probably by the end of the week. I have to go back to work tomorrow and I really, really, really don't want to. Uh, but it's okay, I guess. Give me something to do, I guess. But I like being at home. It's okay. But today I'm just going to sit on my booty and cross stitch. Um, I think that that is all I want to say. This is the second time I've had to record this because the first time it didn't save. And that was really annoying, but it's okay. Life happens and you just roll with the punches. Um, all right. Well, um, I, that was the first episode, I guess. First installment of the Tankard Crafts craft cast floss tube video stuff um and i've got stuff planned i've got little episodes see i'm a teacher so i've got little lesson plans or whatever i feel like the uh general outline of the show show or the video or whatever it's going to be a rundown of what happened during the week showing my progress on my um whips talking about book or podcast that i'm listening to show fabric and grime guards and then plug my etsy store because i want you guys to buy stuff from me and also you know you know, capitalism, you know how it is. So, um, a few special segments I might do, um, I might show you guys where I stitch or where I like to stitch, where I have my sewing machine set up, um, how I stash my crafts. I just got, um, a really cool cabinet set up and my, um, fiance put some cabinets up. Um, I've got a plushie collection. I'll show you my kitties. I might show you guys how to make a grime guard, how to make a pincushion, how to make a bag, how to ice dye. We can go into the vault of all my old whips and stuff and see what I've neglected for eons. But yeah, um, it's almost 12 minute video. Probably should cut it now. Um, so yeah, hashtag new year, new beginnings.